In my late teens, I was really into this girl that eventually I actually had the courage to ask out. Now, she said yes, but then managed to flake on the date. And it was really one of those times in my life and really one of those nights where I was like, I really have to stop sucking at life. Like, I really need to stop being average at everything that I do. Now, maybe I overinterpreted it and I was just being a baby and being all hurt because I got rejected by a girl. But part of that really was why I got into personal development. And I decided that I wanted to improve my life. Not just for attracting women, but for building the kind of life that I thought was exciting and epic. Now in this video, I want to share some steps that you can use if you also have come to that point in life where you realize, I want to stop struggling financially. I want to stop being single or dating crappy people. I want to do all the things I've always wanted to do and not just go into a job I hate because my mom and dad said I should. So in this video, let's talk about some steps you can take to stop being average. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, if you wanna stop being average, set goals. So the first link in the description is a link to a goal setting worksheet on how to build out the most incredible year of your life. You'll also get an email every few days on how to use goal setting to improve your life and build your 10 out of 10 life. So check out that first link in the description and you'll get started with the first lesson. So one thing I wanna come back to here is that the starting point of all achievement, as Napoleon Hill says, is desire, is hunger. Because nobody builds an exceptional life by accident. Think about that. I had someone hire me for coaching once and he said something incredibly wise. He said, I want to be where you are five years from now and I know that you didn't get there by accident. And that was one of the wisest things I've ever heard somebody say. Because it's true. When you see someone with an exceptional quality of life, however you define that, they did not get there by accident. You don't get the healthy, fulfilled, financially abundant, in a great relationship, happy, by accident. That is not the default state of human beings. That takes cultivation and inner work and outer work. So it starts with the hunger and the desire to improve your life and to become a better version of yourself. No one loses 100 pounds by accident. It starts with the affirmation and the intention, the inner hunger to become a different person, a better person. No one just magically attracts their dream person after having been single for a decade. They do the inner work. They have the hunger to become someone different or become better or work on that flaw or that part of themselves. No one just says, hey, I want to be a millionaire so that I can help my parents retire and take all these great vacations and never let money get into you know, become the barrier of me living a great life. That doesn't just happen. Like it starts with the hunger, the affirmation, the intention, the desire. I want to live a different life. So first, it begins with hunger. Now the second exercise is really probably the most tactical and specific exercise here. And that is thinking of your lower self and your higher self. Now I don't want to think of these as superlative, like the higher self is necessarily better. But the higher self is better in the sense that it is cultivating traits that lead to you living a better life internally and externally. So you could easily say, you know, in every industry, there are people who are doing what everyone else does. They are by default living a lower life because they're just, they aren't thinking about life at all. But in your own life, the way to live a, a more exceptional, better quality of life is to just make two columns and say, the lower level Alex financially, the higher level Alex financially. The lower level Alex buys whatever he wants, spends whatever he wants, does not track his finances, does not try to grow in terms of his earning potential, does not try to also be more frugal. The higher level Alex tracks what he spends, tries to earn more money, tries to save more money, tries to be more generous with his money. When you do that, the lower self, the higher self, then you begin embodying the traits and the habits of the higher self. By definition, you are going to become superior to your former self. You will no longer become mediocre. You can do the same thing with fitness. The lower level Alex eats whatever he wants, eats things that don't make him feel good, eats things not aligned with his goals, spends too much on food, doesn't cook. 
the positive Alex, tracks what he spends in terms of food, eats food first that makes him feel good, and then reaches his fitness goals, has fitness goals, shows up for the gym. These are the higher level versions of myself. And you can do that for happiness. You can do that for fulfillment. You can do that for dating. You can do that for contribution. The lower level Alex spends all this time on himself, dedicated to his own goals. Doesn't give any money to charity or to his parents to help them. Doesn't help out his siblings or his friends. The higher level Alex spends time, money, energy, excitement, dedicated towards helping other people. So if you just take 10 minutes to think, the lower version of myself in this category of life does this. The higher version of myself in this category of life does these habits. And then you can begin embodying this column's habits. There is no way you cannot become a more epic version of yourself on a daily basis. The last step here is to dedicate 30 to 60 minutes per night becoming that higher version of yourself. So I've shared the story here of Earl Nightingale. And in one of his audiobooks, he talks about a story where this man passed a group of men, steelworkers, during the Great Depression. They were all whining and moaning about not knowing where their job was going to go in the next year or two and if they would have jobs. And he thought it was interesting because these men just worked, you know, their typical 30 or 40 hour work week and they had eight or nine hours free per day. And he thought to himself, you know, what were you doing in those eight or nine hours free per day? I mean, if you only dedicated one or two hours over the last 10 years, you could have become an open heart surgeon in your free time. So sometimes it just takes one hour a day to build a better life. So if you dedicate less than one hour a day, 30 minutes to doing the higher level financial self, the higher level fulfilled self, the higher level fit self, the higher level happy self, in a great relationship self, well rested self, fulfilled self, it just takes 30 to 60 minutes a night to live a better life. And if you begin embodying these traits, with a dedicated period of time on your calendar, 9 p.m. to 9.30 every night, I'm dedicated to becoming the higher version. Your life one year from now will be incredible. It'll be very specifically better in the ways that you want it to be if you dedicate that time. So your habit here for today is to do that higher self exercise in the parts of your life you want to improve the most. You dedicate a time period every single day to improving. And when you do that, the next six months will be miraculous. And over the next year and three and five years, you will move into a new life that is so good, you do not even recognize the old self anymore. So try that out this week and let me know what your results are and what realizations this helps you figure out. And of course, the first link in the description as a goal setting worksheet will help you figure out those things. And that email drip series is going to help you learn how to use goal setting to completely transform your life into becoming the new kind of person that you've always wanted to become. So check that out there in the description, the first link. And otherwise, my last two videos are right there and right there.